We're working to connect a region of over 600 million bridges between our lands. Hello and welcome to Asian in Focus Weekend Edition. I'm Kaloy Tabundo Jr. from the New Year University School of International Relations. For today's episode, we will be discussing disaster management. As we all know, the Asian region is vulnerable to several natural disasters, including typhoons, floods, drought, earthquakes, and volcanic eruption. Asian has, several, has experienced several catastrophic disasters in the past two decades, including the Indian Ocean tsunami in 2004, Cyclone Nargis in 2008 and Typhoon Haiyan in 2013. As we enter a new decade, countries in the ASEAN region continue to suffer from different disasters. For one, the equivalent of 72,000 Olympic sized swimming pools came pouring down in Jakarta on New Year's Eve, killing at least 29 people. Reports say these are the worst floods in the region seen since 2013. In Cambodia, 36 people were killed and 23 more injured after a seven-story tourist guest house under construction in the coastal town of Kep collapsed on January 3. And here in our own country, an erupting Taal volcano remains life-threatening despite weaker emissions and fewer tremors. Taal volcano's activities started January 12 when it spewed ash up to 14 kilometers into the air. Let's take a look at this report from Neya Mangawang. The Taal Volcano, located about 60 kilometers south of Manila, is one of the country's most active volcanoes. It is part of a chain of volcanoes along the island of Luzon, which were formed by two tectonic plates colliding over 500 years ago. Since the formation of Taal Lake, subsequent eruptions created another volcanic island known as Volcano Island. This is where the main crater lake, measuring 1.9 kilometer in diameter, is located. In the afternoon of January 12, the Al Volcano started spewing ash, prompting the Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology, or FIVOX, to raise its alert status to Level 2. The alert was raised at 2.30 p.m. due to a steam-driven or phreatic eruption. At 4 p.m. of the same afternoon, the alert status was raised to Level 3, indicating magmatic unrest. By 7.30 p.m., Evox raised the status to level 4, which means hazardous eruption is imminent. The volcano exhibited frequent volcanic lightning. And the ash and rock fragments column from the volcano reached up to 15 kilometers due to continuous eruption. That same night, ashfall from Taal Volcano had reached Calabarzon and Metro Manila, while larger particles of rock fragments were reported in the areas of Tanawan and Talisay in Batangas, Novali and Santa Rosa in Laguna, and Tagaytay City. Hundreds of volcanic earthquakes were also plotted in Taal region, ranging from magnitude 1.2 to 4.1 and intensity of 1 to 5. Hundreds of thousands of individuals were affected by the Taal eruption. Most were being housed in temporary shelter across 497 evacuation centers. Alert level 4 remains in effect over Taal, which means a hazardous explosive eruption may still happen within hours or days. For Eagle News, Nea Mangawang, I am one with 25. Now to help us understand more about the effects of volcanic disasters and the way to prevent being harmfully affected by volcanic eruptions, we're honored to have as guests Dr. Perla J. De Los Reyes, or PJ, you want to refer to as PJ, the Supervising Research Specialist of FIVOX, and Ms. Luan De David, Technical Manager for Urban Resilience of Earthquakes and Megacities Initiative. Uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Dr. PJ, good, good afternoon, afternoon, Luan. I understand you're all, uh, you, both of you are uh, graduates of uh, Australian University. Yes, An yes sir. Well, I did my PhD uh, in the University of uh, Sydney mm -mm. in uh, Sydney, Australia, Australia mm. New South Wales. Okay. And uh, just finished and graduated uh, last year, November mm. 7. So you're in Fibox? Okay. Yes, I am in Fibox mm -mm. for 35 years. For 35 years? Yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> Luan? Um, uh, myself, po, I graduated with a degree on... Uh, 
Master of Environmental mm. Management mm. and Development mm -mm. at the Australian National University in Canberra. Okay. Uh, prior to that, I was working at the local government uh, mm. in, a, in San Fernando, Pampanga. And then going back after my uh, uh, Master of Degree, I uh, joined the Earthquakes and Megacities Initiative. It's a not-for-profit uh, research organization. Okay. And we are engaged in different projects uh, globally, mm -hmm. um, building capacities and... Um, capacities of people to plan and um, manage emergencies. Oh, okay, so, katulad ngayon, so you're active right now with the, with the Taal Volcano eruption? Um, well, uh, Earthquakes and Megacities Initiative is not directly involved with the Taal mm -hmm. uh, uh, Volcano Management right now, okay. but we have projects po in other parts of the okay, world. Okay, on disaster now. management. Yes. Po. Okay, tanong ko lang, ano, so you are, you are from FIBOX, kasi pag yes. sinabing FIBOX, oh, all of these are... Volcanologist. <laughs> ano ba ito? Can you dispel this? Uh... Well, well, uh, we are actually mandated to study and understand volcanoes okay. uh, and volcanic eruptions and also earthquakes, mm. so, uh, so tectonic earthquakes. Mm. So both aspects, I have in my 35 years, I've been mm. working on that. And I've, my colleagues and I, um, some are geologists, some are engineers. Okay. Uh, in fact, our deputy director is, uh, or our former deputy director, Bartos Bautista, mm. was a mining engineer, but he he is an expert on volcanoes and, mm -hmm. and earthquakes. So, may mat we have mathematicians. Para sa inyong mathematicians, what do you put, um, what do you compute? Statistics, your know, modeling needs oh, okay. uh, needs math and physics, mm. uh, so which are related to volcanic yes, uh, uh, structural engineers, mm. civil engineers. Uh, to be able to understand impacts of earthquakes and mm -hmm. volcanoes. Pero um, iba pa yung volcanologist talaga? Meron ba talagang volcanologist na profession? Volcanologist is that you, you've been working on volcanoes and okay. feel that you have uh, enough expertise. And that's why when I was asked kung volcanologist or geologist yes. ako, I think I'm I'm uh, not an expert, a very uh, not an expert on volcanoes. Uh, uh, so um, you're more of a geologist, not a volcanologist uh -oh. expert. Okay, but uh, I do work on volcanoes. And then, what's the difference between a geologist and a geophysicist? Geophysicists, in a way, uh, they are the ones studying deformation. Deformation, earth, yung earth yes, deformation. Earth deformation, okay. either in terms of the of uh, of earthquakes. Mm -hmm and uh, structure, earthquake structures. Mm -hmm. Yung iba naman po pinag-aaralan uh, for volcanoes din. So oh, okay. deformation in terms of uh, movement of magma. And mm -hmm. so, uh, so we have a lot of experts or uh, lots of fields mm -hmm. working on studying volcanoes. We are in the ring of fire at maraming volcans sa Pilipinas. Yeah. Do you think we have enough, enough experts to deal with uh, in geology, a geological uh, phenomenon. Well, as far as FIVOX, DOST FIVOX is concerned, I think we have enough. And mm -hmm. in fact, during disasters, there are a lot of experts mm -hmm. who, who talk about uh, experts Taal. experts talaga. Hindi <laughs> 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 naman. I think if no, no, you, no, you've I'm studied science yeah, and yeah. geology, yes. you you do understand mm -hmm. what what's happening and uh -oh. what can happen. So. Mm -hmm. Some voice out uh, their opinions more than others, mm -hmm. but um, sometimes it causes confusion. But it uh, it, it challenges mm -hmm. to give the right information and mm -hmm. show the people that mm -hmm. uh, we are doing our best. Yeah, because of course we have, uh, diba, right, right now, yung yung kaso natin ngayon sa mm -hmm. sa Taal Volcano, may mga actually these are politicians. Na iba yung sinasabi nila, so na hindi naman scientifically grounded. So you should take. The stand of Facebook should really take a stand on. We do, I think, yeah. and our uh, undersecretary Salido mm -hmm. is a strong person, and okay. our Mariton Bornas mm -hmm. uh, speaks her mind, and and they are doing their best to, so to that, show. So that bodes well for us in terms of uh, 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 responding to disaster management. Yes, because um, in every emergency, information is actually part mm -hmm. of not just a resource but also mm -hmm. a relief, part mm -hmm. of relief. So, very key po talaga ang role ng FIVOX in mm -hmm. um, 
planning and managing emergencies, so, especially in the Philippines. Is there a partnership in FIVOX and you, or parang ano lang, in, for informal partnership, for example, kung merong mga disasters na ganito, you, you exchange information, actually, you share information? Yes. Actually, Director Solidum is one of our board of trustees. Ah, okay. So, so when we, when, when all research organizations need information, mm -hmm. we commend FIVOX for having, you know, the data that we need. Mm -hmm. Uh, interesting lang, where do you get your funding? Um, ano po, we have projects po, so different po, we have, depending po sa projects, so we have government funded, funded. projects okay. from other countries, we have uh, projects funded by uh, NGOs and CSOs such mm -hmm. as the World Bank, mm -hmm. so mga ganun po. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, sabi nila, uh, of course, volcanic eruption is not something you do. <laughs> Filipinos. Hindi ka yeah. Pilipino, hindi ka nakatira sa Pilipinas pag hindi ka, pag hindi mo alam ko ano yung yes, volcanic corruption. Yes. Because we are in the ring of fire. Okay. Yeah. Pero there's, is, uh, pwede bang sabihin mo na tama yung observation ng iba na pat, bakit parang mas active ata ngayon ang, ang ring of fire? Or is this a continuous activity na nakahighlight na ngayon? It is a continuous ngayon? activity and okay. um, it, there, we have other uh, countries mm -hmm. who are within the Circum Pacific Delta Four. Okay or Ring of Fire mm -mm. in Japan, Taiwan, mm -mm. Oh, okay. Uh, so, we, they experience, we experience a lot of earthquakes, tectonic earthquakes, mm -hmm. and uh, of, of course, the formation of volcanoes is, okay. is, um, is, 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 is something that's not new. Mm -mm. And in fact, uh, we have a lot of uh, volcanoes that, uh, we have 24 active volcanoes in the, in the Philippines. Philippines. Yes, out of uh, more than 400, so we have four, 400 volcanoes. Identified volcanoes in the Philippines. And then 24 some are, are active. inactive, some are potentially active, and some are active. When we say active, it has historical records of eruption. When you say historical, since we have our 10, written 000. history. Ah, 10,000 years, Opa. going back 10,000 yes, years ago. Yes, going back 10,000 years. FIVOX has a repository of those data. Yes, we do. Okay. And uh, of course, Smithsonian has the rep okay, repository yes. for the whole world. Mm. And um, uh, uh, the potentially active uh, are seemingly young-looking volcanoes, but uh, they there's no historical record. Mm -hmm. There's no dating of... Oh. An eruption or the deposits mm -mm. doesn't show that it's mo less than 10,000 years. But how do you know that it's a volcano? Merong, uh, geothe merong geologic um, activities? The deposits are very similar for all. Okay. Pyroplastic density current mm, deposits, okay. lava flow deposits. Around uh, the asphalt, around Yes, the around the Philippines. Oh. And so if you have, uh, if you look at the forms, you, mm. you see that the uh, Sometimes they have craters, sometimes, mm -mm. sometimes they don't. Mm -mm. Uh, so we try to identify uh, some of the surficial manifestation that it's a lava flow. or So ganun po yung mm -mm. inaaral ng geology. So 10,000 years back, younger, meron tayong uh, record. Hindi man sa Feebox, it's in Smithsonian in, in the United States. Yes. When I say record, that is that, uh, for example, uh, we started our history mm. uh, during the Spanish time. Okay. So we identified. Years ago pa yan yes. Ako. So the earliest, for example, Pinatubo, um, mga major earlier ang identified na, na mga eruptions mm. yan. But for 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 Taal, the historical eruptions started 1572. Okay. That's the earliest eruption that we've identified. Na recorded talaga. Yes, recorded. Spanish accounts. So, okay. nung nag-aaral po ako, pinag-aralan ko yung chronology na yan. Mm -hmm. So, binasa ko yung mga, mm -hmm. mga uh, narrative natin mm -hmm. to find out ano yung mga deposits na kwan. So, uh, I did some reinterpretation mm -hmm. ng mga processes and kwan. So, para maintindihan natin, ano ba pwedeng mangyari? What can happen if uh, 74 eruption style mm -hmm. happens? And, that's what we are talking now. Mm -hmm. na sometimes uh, people, um, nababatikos kami for uh, saying na 1754 versus 1911. Uh, essentially, what we mean is that it can happen like a 1754 na Eruption. more than seven, year, uh, seven months mm -hmm. or it can be a 1911 na 
ilang days lang, tatlong so, araw. So, we cannot be sure. Ay, was one day. So, yung nangyayari ng Staal ay parang suspended animation tayo. Yes, yes. Hindi yes. namin sigurado. We are not guessing, but mm -mm. we are monitoring to give the right information to the okay. people. Okay, so there's always a possibility that the 74 uh, magnitude of eruption can yes. be repeated yes. right now. Yes. At malaki yung possibility na mas malaki yung disaster na inaharap mm. natin. Kasi, of course, heavily populated na yes. yung areas yes. na yan. And do you think our our, manage, our disaster management system is uh, prepared in case of uh, was 1754 uh, magnitude eruption? Policy-wise po, I think we have the minimum uh, measures in place, policy-wise. Okay. Mm. In fact, the Republic Act uh, 10121 is one of the benchmarks globally po for mm -hmm. a really good disaster management uh, law. However, uh, well, notwithstanding, siyempre, some improvements that needed mm -hmm. to be added and to it. And implementation. Yes. So, but yes, tama po si uh, yeah, Dr. PJ. A, it's it's really the, no, it's really the implementation so, that, uh, that is... That is so, a little bit problematic. Uh, I don't think it's a little bit problematic. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big bit problematic. Okay, so balik ulit tayo sa usaping volcano mm. ulit. So we have 24 active volcanoes. Ano yung mga major na nasa mga populated areas? Okay, one, the most active being Mayon. And mm -hmm. uh, it has been erupting. And people are a bit resilient and sometimes complacent. Mm -hmm. Kasi alam na nila yung gagawin oh, nila. No? But there are some disasters uh -oh. coming from eruptions na uh, we didn't realize, eh, di, the people didn't, didn't expect. expect. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Taal is second in line. Uh, okay. with, uh, 33 ang identified, but when I did my study, we feel, we, I felt that uh, 24, na 24 start and now 25. Ah, 25. Ano so, yung bago ka? Ito po, yung pagputok natin ah, okay, kasi okay. 24 nung nag-aaral pa ako. Oh, so, okay, 25 okay. Uh, eruptions. So, mayon, taal, ano pa yung mga active na... We have Bulusan, oh, Sindicol also, Kanlaon, Pinatubo. Pinatubo. We're also monitoring uh, uh, Parker and and uh, Matutum. These are in Mindanao? Yes. Uh, Matutum, oh, Matutum is the one near General Santos, di ba? Matutum is yes. in, uh, yes, in oh, General so Santos. Populated area rin yan. And, uh, of course, Pinatubo, mm -hmm. uh, we, we, uh, it erupted 400 years mm -hmm. uh, ago. ago, and last year before mm -hmm. the 1991. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, Hibok Hibok was uh, occurred in 1949 to 1951. Ito yung seven years ata na sumasabog. Ito ba yun? Uh, Bali, three, uh, two years. Okay. For 1949, and mm -hmm. Convol, which is now FIVOX, the OST FIVOX, was created because of that eruption. Okay, so, so na natin yun, the reason why we have a <laughs> Convol, Commission on Volcanology and FIVOX, is because of the Hibok Hibok, 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 uh, Hibok eruption. And has not erupted. Uh, it has not erupted ever since. Okay. So, quiet. Okay, uh, marami pa tayong pag-uusapan tungkol sa volcanic eruption and how to deal with it. The National Focus Weekend Edition returns. Manila or Quezon City is a popular destination, but oftentimes the hustle and bustle of the city can be more stressful on your vacation. So when you feel the need to reconnect to nature or relax again, there's a beautiful oasis just outside of the city called the Garden at Ciudad de Victoria.
you can see here include hydrangea, snapdragon, and stargazers. They're truly beautiful. The gardens at Ciudad de Victoria are so peaceful, tranquil, and beautiful that it's become a haven for young couples and a very popular venue for engagement photos. The next time you want an escape from the big city, the garden at Ciudad de Victoria is a wonderful place to visit. Welcome back to Action in Focus Weekend Edition and we're still here with Dr. PJ De Los Reyes from FIVOX and uh, Luan David from EMI Earthquake and Megacities Initiative. 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 Okay, medyo mahaba kasi yung talagang pangalan <laughs> eh. Anyway, so we, we ended our discussion sa previous segment on yung volcanoes, yung types of volcanoes. So yes. you, you mentioned yung 24 active. Na, na active volcanoes, tapos merong kang inactive. Kasi naalala ko nung well, ako yung bata pa, sabi nila, bata pa, no? <laughs> you have dormant, extinct, what's the difference? Well, essentially, an active volcano is one that has historical eruptions mm -mm. And, or can be, uh, deposits have been dated and it mm -mm. shows that it is within the 10,000 years. Ayun or pala, or, okay, kasi makakala na iba. Geological oh, may record and geologic. tayo ng 10,000 years. No, parang yung geological... Geological time frame, time yung frame. natin. Okay, tapos, tapos uh, they, pag, they determine the, the date sometimes through... Sometimes carbon dating, carbon dating or, or any other date. Hindi ibig sabihin 10,000 years ago may nagsusulat na. Wala. Oo, wala. <laughs> okay, tapos good. yung, uh, yung uh, potentially active are seemingly young-looking uh, mm -hmm. volca volcanoes, but... We don't have historical eruptions mm -mm. or dating. Mm -mm. Pero pag may hot spring candidate ba ito? Parang it, ganun? Even, has, even inactive volcanoes can have hot springs. Okay. So, pag inactive naman po, of course, no historical eruptions. Mm -mm. Uh, and uh, old looking. So, ma medyo the, the drainages are very deep. Mm -hmm. So, which reflects on no new deposits for a long, long time. Mm, so, okay. Pa. What about Mount Arayat? Uh, inactive po siya. Mm. Was there a recorded eruption niya noon pa? Wala po. Walang, wala kami ko niya. So yung uh, uh, porak sand, the, the sand along that, uh, in sa Pampanga, it, it came from Pinatubo's Pinatubo. eruption 600 More years likely ago. Pinatubo, of okay, so, uh, That's our mm, presumption. Okay. So... Okay, uh, what's the possible? So, in Pinatubo erupted, of course, 1990s, ano? pero the last eruption before that was 400 years ago. Yes. So, ano ito, nag-iipon uli ng lakas, and ano, ano yung, in your math, ano yung mathematical calculations, <laughs> kailan yung susunod na pwedeng uh, pumutok ulit? Of course, yung tinatawag natin, <laughs> pinag-aaralan din ng mga, uh, mga scientists yung recurrence uh, interval. Okay. So, if you, kuan, siguro, ang, pag, yung unofficial, uh, mm -hmm. I would say, the earliest possibility na pumutok ulit ng major ang pinatupo mm -hmm. would be 100 years from now? Mm -hmm. Or from since the eruption? Not in our but, lifetime. Uh, yeah, not in our <laughs> lifetime, maybe. Mm -hmm. uh, and hopefully, because we have monitoring, uh, continuous monitoring, uh, even before the eruption of pinatupo, we can detect if there are, mm -hmm. uh, and this is usually by volcanic earthquakes, mm -hmm. so uh, do not quote me on, on 100 but, years. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> so it's possible. Uh, mm -hmm. If it's possible, uh, we, we would mm -hmm. like to think that we can detect it. Okay. What makes a volcano very active? Because you said there are 24 active, but the very active, yun, of course, mm -hmm. Mayan volcano. Tapos, yeah. ano, yung, ano yung well, factors? Well, the rise of magma and, and essentially the recharge rate niya na para pagkaputok niya, mag, mag, mag recharge ulit siya ng, ng magma sa ilalim, 
So yung bilis lang po ng So yung pinanggagalingan yes. ng mamo niya sa ilalim And is, a, is mabilis. It's a, a cycle. <clears throat> yung plate tectonics nga yan. So mm -hmm. ang paggalaw, subduction. So iba-iba mm -hmm. yan per volcano. So you mm -hmm. cannot say na, ah, uh, uh, five, every 10 years ang mayon or ganyan. Mm -hmm. It's not... It, a volcano has its own identity and mm. ah, okay. characteristics and processes. Hindi mo talaga pwedeng i-predict. Mm. Oh, oh. Oh, so, hindi na, as parang sa earthquake din, oh, hindi po. mo pwedeng i-predict kung kailan mag-earthquake. Well, as, yung sa vulkan, ang mga prediction measures natin are yung monitoring parameters. For okay. example, paglabas po ng <coughs> SOT o yung mga gases, mm -hmm. uh, pag, pag uh, re record natin ng volcanic earthquakes mm -hmm. and some some can be felt uh, yung mga mga deformation po yung mm -hmm. sinasabi natin na kaya kami may geophysics mm -hmm. uh, nag, meron kami mga GPS measurements mm -hmm. to say if there's an inflation or deflation of the volcano do we have enough equipment in the Philippines on our own to detect well as far as we works is concerned we feel we are confident that we do. Okay. It's just that some of these parameters that we are monitoring can not show, can not show uh, any signs for, mm. for, for some time and then mm. suddenly, and, and that is what happened sa nung, Janu nung January 12. 12 oh. I mean, everything was, well, there's an unrest, but it's kind of stable, you even seismic and gas. Mm. Tapos, nag-start lang po siya ng mga 11 na medyo na may na-detect mm -hmm. na kaming seismic occurrences. Pero Tapos nung nangyari yun, naka-level, alert level 1 tayo, no? 1 po kami. One, And okay. that means, when you say 1, that the main crater, dapat wala na pong turista doon sa main crater. And that's probably Pero safe. Pero meron pa rin. Meron po. May, oh. may isang na pan. How, how do you so, deal with that? Yung ganun na, na alert level, alert level, pero meron pa rin. Actually po, it's really, um, for me, as a part of my sociology mm -hmm. background, it's really on um, two things. Mm -hmm. One is economic. Okay. Because of course, you hindi know, hindi mo talaga maalis sa akin. Hindi mo because Patayin it's livelihood. Patayin nyo na kami kasi pag hindi nyo kong pinabalik, mamamatay din lang. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So basically, I think that that's the bigger, okay. the bigger part of the pie. But okay. um, abnormalizing this more is the onset of social media okay, because yes. of, um, because you know right now if you if you traveled and you didn't capture it on video it mm -mm. didn't happen so it was mm -mm. like uh um i think people still go there if you remember naka alert level one na po may nag vlog pa aside from Actually, the tourists mas maraming pumunta doon kasi gusto <laughs> nilang ma-observe daw yung, oh, ano, yung so it's really uh, yun po, um, because it's it's in eh. It's mm -hmm. something that, you know, uh, people selfie, do, you know, yes. When, when yes. Volcanoes erupt. yes. I remember that yung sa Mayon Volcano, there was an eruption, something mga 1990s. Mas marami raw pumuntang turista to observe ano ba talaga yung uh, nangyayari. And going uh, within the... Within the six kilometer oh, radius, oh, oh, oh. yes. So yun na, so it, it's, it's really sociological yung explanation. Oh po, uh, behavior, culture. Mm -hmm. Kasi yun nga po, yung culture right now is mm -hmm. you, you go there and then you capture it. Yeah. Pero siempre po, we we can never discount the economic part of that. Yeah. Because yes. people will really. Yun yung sinasabi ng mga taga doon talaga. It's really yeah, because uh, Taal Volcano Island is based on law. Uh, it's a no man's land. Yung, But of course, uh, island, yes. yes. So, yung buong vul vul volcano island, Taal Volcano Island, should, should be off limits to ano. Yeah, no habitation oh. dapat. Oh, pero of course, of course mm. they mm. Na tayo dun. Yes. <laughs> so, believe sa crater. We estimate na around 6,000 ng mga ang tao dyan. Uh, some wow. living, some going to their mm -mm. main house uh, sa mainland. Sa so mainland. Mm -hmm. But, uh, well, it's fortunate. I feel that I. I I think we were lucky enough na nasabihan ni mga mga barangay captains natin mm. because we have resident volcanologists in the area. Mm, we have okay. a, a Taal Volcano Observatory. Mm. And so they have they have uh, they, direct they contact warned, with them. They have, were able And to warn the people they were early. calling our resident mm. volcanologists mm. kasi marami ng uh, uh, felt earthquakes. Mas mm. marami kesa dati. Mm. During the early hours. Mm. And so Uh, as far as we know, uh, we've validated na 
the the one barangay captain said uh, even two hours before before the alert level was That's raised uh, well mm -hmm. na raised mm -hmm. na siya ng, ng two mm -hmm. before mag three which is actually where the mandated uh, mandatory evacuation, evacuation. Uh, should be mm -hmm. um ang two kasi they should have uh, me optional men uh, women children and elderly pregnant mm -hmm. women children and mm -hmm. elderly mm -hmm. vulnerable you know, no. vulnerable, vulnerable sectors sana to yon mm -hmm. but they evacuate all of them evacuated before 3 so uh, luckily uh, mm -hmm. during the eruption nung, which we declared around mm -hmm. uh, alert level 4 uh, they were already out. So, on that note, masabi mo na medyo okay yung naging evacuation kasi walang casualty. Wala. In, yes in, po. In, Actually, yes. yun po, uh, makakomment siya. Yeah, yeah, to Fibox po. And, and because of their presence actually okay. there. So, meron pong trust eh. May yes. trust kasi they have mm -hmm. immediate presence there. It would be very different if wala silang immediate presence there. Mm -hmm. Like, kung wari po may announcement lang from the national office yes, and yes, then yeah. the barangay captains would implement, it would be very different. So it was led by the barangay, yung actual physical evaluation? As far as TV, uh, Taal Vulcano mm -hmm. Island is concerned. Okay. Yes. Ah, Actually, yes. it's the mandate po of the local government. Mm -hmm. So, yun nga pong mga naging issue ngayon that Fivox did not tell down yung Diro nag-list ng information, which is, what? That is impossible. Yeah, that that the is very, the very the impossible. Oh, the, the, the protocol, the, sir, yes. is that yeah. Fivox will give the information to the, 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 the corresponding uh -oh. Uh, or the other agencies. So you were con you're confident that during the actual yung eruption na nakikita natin, nobody was there already yes. in the Yes, Bukena yes. I think po. Yes. Wala naman po recorded na. Ano. So, red ready talaga. The systems are there. We, have this, we actually have the systems. I think what is lacking is the coordination. Not yung pong sa inside, but in mm. the ferry ferry. Mm -hmm. There was, mm -hmm. uh, uh, po. Mm -hmm. in the ferry ferry po, dun po medyo hindi masyado. Kasi nga po, if you... Uh, as I said a while ago, there is trust po kasi mm -hmm. within the smaller communities. Mm -hmm. But outside the communities, mm -hmm. since um, yun nga po, it's more science mm -hmm. and it, it takes uh, a relationship po to establish that trust. So, kaya nga po ang emergency management, it's not just really during disasters. Okay. It should happen prior. Yeah. prior. So, dun po papasok yun, yung establishment of relationships, establishment okay. of a coordination mechanism, okay. which actually we have already in the law. Mm -hmm. Pero it's really in the implementation of, mm -hmm. ano po, doon nagkakatalo. Pero at least doon sa Volcano Island, it's yes. the system mm -hmm. is there. Yeah. In Inisip mo natin, are there enough boats to ferry the people from, from well, the when Volcano Island? It seems, Island? when I was doing my studies and talking to some selected barangay captains in the island and mainland, as far as the island is concerned, may support kasi ng municipality. Mm -hmm. So okay. there's actually, I think, um, may nakahanda pong uh, mga magpe-ferry sa kanila. Okay. It's always, also, there. Mm -hmm. it's always there. And also, the barangay captains were confident that they have enough boats, okay. personal boats. Okay. And it seems it was successful. Is, is that a single barangay, yung uh, Volcano Island? No. no. It's uh, one part is Talisay and yes. part oh. is San Nicolas. Ah, so two municipalities. Two municipalities. Okay. Sige. Marami pa tayong pag-uusap. Ito yung interesting yung usapan natin. We will talk more about uh, volcanic eruption in the Philippines within the context of the Taal Volcano eruption. The National Focus Weekend Edition returns. Watch your favorite Net25 shows on OSN Channel 725, same day as the Philippines. In Good Shape, your weekly health show on DW that covers many aspects of health care. We look at what's new in medical treatment, nutrition, fitness, and beauty. We discuss these topics in depth with specialists. Innovation, digital disruption, globalization, startups, micro, small and medium enterprises, as well as large corporations, all face interesting challenges in the market today. Peek into the world of exciting opportunities and partnerships to drive growth. 
with the latest business news and information. We are open for business. Join the conversations to create a more vibrant environment for entrepreneurship. Catch Open for Business every Saturday from 5 to 6 p.m. Open for Business, from vision to action. Accurate and fair reporting. Not only from Batanes to Tawi Tawi, but also abroad. Detailed and timely stories relevant to people all over the world. Catch all of these at Net25. Your reliable source of news, entertainment, and technology updates. Welcome back to Action and Focus Weekend Edition. At tuloy ang ating interview kay Dr. PJ de los Reyes of Fibox and Luan David of a, sorry, Earthquake Earth and Megacities, and Megacities Initiative. Initiative. Okay. <laughs> Sige. Uh, meron tayong protocol na sinusunod ngayon, di ba? Parang 14-kilometer radius from the volcanic crater, it should be evacuated. Anong bebe ibig sabihin nito? At totoo ba na 14 kilometers? Well, essentially... Maybe the local government units were just making sure that mm -hmm. everybody's safe. And but the uh, official na, uh, statement namin was uh, hazard areas within the 14 kilometers that are uh, prone to uh, Bay Surge uh, mm -hmm. tsunami and ballistic projectiles okay, yun lang. as shown in our hazard maps. Okay. Okay, so hindi naman yung sabihin na kasi i-drenoving mo yung taal tapos lahat ng 14 kilometers kasama dapat. Hindi pala ganun. Hindi po re namin recommended yun because we have identified mm. where the areas that are prone to those hazards. So uh, up to the single barangay or sitio naka-identify yun? Yes, uh, what we did was we, um, we also, uh, based, uh, base po sa GIS namin, kinuha namin kung ano yung mga Mm -hmm. areas na nasa uh, Bay Surge Hazard mm -hmm. uh, Tsunami and we made mm -hmm. a list mm -hmm. and um, we find but of course there's always a demand na or need by the local government unit mm -hmm. na may listan so gumawa kami niyan ngayon ang ginagawa naman po natin gusto ng, ng, ng local government na, na magkaroon tayo ng listahan ng porsyento mm -hmm. ng threatened at safe. Mm -hmm. So we did that and we're just uh, finalizing it before posting again. Mm -hmm. Para lang matulungan sila mm -hmm. na magkaroon ng idea how big yung gano kalawak mm -hmm. sa isang barangay ang pwedeng maapektuhan mm -hmm. ng tsunami or ballistic project projectiles or mm -hmm. py pyroclastic density current or base surge. Okay. One of the proposals right now, actually hindi na lang proposal, kundi it's uh, pinag-uusapan sa Kongreso mm -hmm. is the establishment of a Department of Disaster Resilience. 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 Yes. Anong masasabi mo doon, Ms. Luan? Well, coming from the local government before, mm -hmm. I think it's really needed. Because, okay. Uh, separate bureaucracy talaga? Uh, yes po. Okay. Because right now, even if uh, yung secretariat and chairmanship of the National Disaster Risk Reduction and Management mm -hmm. Council is under the OCD. Okay. Wala pa rin po silang ganung uh, freedom as a separate bureaucracy to lead because um, annex pa rin sila sa Department of National Defense. So, and do you think that's not enough? Opo. Kasi so, it's a totally different ball game pag disasters eh. Mm -hmm. In fact, uh, based from what I studied, say, in the incident command system, mm -hmm. in incident management, the military and uniformed personnel perform functions well, just one function mm -hmm. in the whole in the whole list of functions. Oh, because there are psychosocial. Yes, may psychosocial, may science, mm -hmm. may uh, military, may rescue, etc. Mm -hmm. So, um, 
So, dapat po talaga mayroong isang uh, lead agency na magmamanage uh, of all these. So, it's highly recommended. Albeit, I have some reservations in some mm. of the versions. Okay. I'm not sure what version is actually being pushed. Yeah. Yeah. But, we would like to know. Yeah, too. we would like to know which version. Because, Ayaw um, sabihin sa inyo. <laughs> and, di naman po, <laughs> <laughs> siguro, <laughs> di pa nila pinapublish or yeah. something. Because, um, No, but, yeah. they're, they're deliberating that in Congress. Yes po. So, yeah. actually, I hope... I mm -hmm. hope, since I'm not part of the uh, bureaucracy anymore, mm -hmm. well, I hope that the stakeholders, with, at least the stakeholders within mm -hmm. the government are informed of which version is being pushed for. Mm -hmm. Because there are some provisions there na meron din naman pong reservations. Okay. How is it in other countries? Sa Japan, di ba? Meron mm -hmm. ba silang separate department or ministry yes. Uh, yes. for Hiwalay disaster? Po ang, Opo, ang Hiwalay science. po. Oh. Opo. Sa I, Australia, may ganun din ba? Um, meron. Meron silang uh, emergency, uh, Australian, uh, I'm not sure the, of the name, but Australian emergency... Uh, ano to, cabinet level? Hindi siya. Not hindi pero sa Japan, level. it's a cabinet level. Yeah, it's a commission, okay. parang commission mm -hmm. level. Siya. In the US, okay. they have FEMA. So, so hiwala yung science. It's a cabinet level, di ba? Okay. Uh -huh. So, if it's a cabinet level, it's still talagang really giving focus and importance to... Yung how, how to deal with this uh, disaster. Yes, say, uh, for example, we, we, ano tayo, eh, double whammy, we are in the ring of fire, we, we are in the typhoon, typhoon belt. belt. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, hydrometeorological, <laughs> tsaka volcanic and tectonic. And we have this, mm -hmm. Sorry, we have all of these politicians. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, Amphibox, what's your comment on the proposed Department of Disaster well, Resilience? We support the version where. Um, It, the, 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 the DDR is uh, developed or established for as a, as a BRRM, mm -hmm. but uh, including science agencies is not something that uh, we like. Because ano ito? Uh, turfing or talagang sa tingin nyo talagang no, independent? I think Kasi you, you're more of science. Oh. We should be more independent mm -hmm. on our... Um, results and mm -hmm. pag nandoon ka na sa sistema kasi mm -hmm. parang medyo you're you're controlled by by the system itself but mm -hmm. right now you're under DOST DOST which is science and technology okay mm -hmm. so iba yung iba yung dynamics yes you have yes. scientists mm -hmm. working there and working mm -hmm. their heads and mm -hmm. ng, na whatever the results is kahit na politically not Mm -hmm. very palatable or mm -hmm. something yes, yes. Mm -hmm. we have to say it yes oh, okay so, so it's so we're we're fe we fear that that is not going to happen so is, is there a proposed is there in, in, in a proposal na isasama ang fibox sa ano sa department of disaster mm, i think there's resilience? a version there's a version yeah. okay and you're really against it because uh, yes it's separate talaga dapat mm -hmm. yung it's because it's yes. really scientific yes okay i understand yeah. so we actually understand the side of mm -hmm. dr pj because um We already have the NDRRMC, mm -hmm. so they are they are members of the ND. The mm -hmm. DOST is a member of the so NDR. We are umbrella organization. Yeah. So it, there's no need to really annex them to yes. to the department because mm -hmm. the department that well for me the department that uh, that would be created should focus on the management and then delegate the expertise to the right experts. So, okay. para pong ganun. So, All of government Yes, and that is solved already of having an NDRRM council. So, we just need really someone to lead the NDRRMC mm -hmm. that uh, with the right resources. So, ang mga yari, NDRRMC mapupunta sa ito yung magiging department of yes, uh, oh, po. Department yung pong of head po. Bali, yung OCD okay. po, which is the secretariat and overall. And OCD right now is under the ND. Oh, mm -hmm. So, para po at least maging ka-level po niya ang DND. So that you would you could command resources. Mm -hmm. That's right. mm -hmm. And it's actually a principle of the incident command system din po. Because um, in, since I think 2011, there was an executive order mm -hmm. already mandating all agencies in the Philippines to follow the incident command system, to put, to put in order po yung... The incident ano command eh. system is being uh, managed by ND, NDRRMC? Yun po yung... Um, bali, isa po siyang... The ICS is a global... Uh, benchmark. Okay. It's a global system that we mm. have adopted since 2011 in the Philippines. Mm. Kaya po medyo kahit pa paano, if you would see baby steps forward, mm. uh, response is improving. Mm. Pero yun nga po, um, meron pa pong kulang ng mga um, 
na ingredients para okay. po mas ma Yung ICS is incident command system. Command system. It's supposed to be one of the components of a uh, of an integrated uh, emergency, emergency management. management system. Yes, so sir. ano ano ba yung mga components ng Well, ano ba ito? Integrated, integrated emergency, emergency management, management system, system. IEMS. So, yes, so an emergency management system by by the name itself is you is the system that you follow in managing emergencies. Okay. But we at Earthquakes and Megacities Initiative, we are advocating for the adoption of an integrated emergency management system. Okay. Because we follow, po, parang, um, based on our research, there are five operational components. Mm. So, the first one is the Emergency Operations Center. Emergency Operations Center. Yes. Do we have that? We have that. In the okay. NDRMC. Okay. So, the Emergency Operations Center, kumbaga po sa tao, yan po yung central nervous system. Okay. Okay, yan po yung brain. Mm -hmm. And then, we have the ICS, which is the system. So, kumbaga, kumbaga sa tao, yan yung mga nerves mo. Ano ang alimsin ng ICS? Incident Command System. system. Iba pa siya sa Emergency Operations operation System. That's Incident Command, command system. system. Ito yung actual... Opo. Yung, ito po yung nag implement ng sinasabi ng EOC okay. or ng Emergency Operations okay. Center na kailangan gawin. Meron tayo ngayon dyan? Um, yun po, nag-start po ang OCD I think as early as 2011. As ah, so OCD has this? Yes po. Okay. Itinitrain po nila yung mga iba-ibang DRRMOs mm. in okay. the Philippines. And then the next is Emergency Operations Planning. Do we have that? Or we have po, na pero reactive? medyo... Medyo copy paste pa siya ng slide. <laughs> so we're not that really we're not really proactive in terms of. Uh, Meron po eh, pero yun pong siguro po we are in the process of improving what we have pa. We have, pero we still need to improve. Apo. Yes, emergency po. emergency the operations, operations planning. planning. Apo. Uh, ito, I understand, parang ito dapat yung nakababa sa mga yes. sa barangay. So, yes, alam po. na nila kung anong yes, gagawin. Po. It's the okay. mother plan for yung pong emergencies. Mm. And then from there, magro-root yung ibang mga plans. So, kulang pa tayo. Medyo po. Considering that we are... <laughs> we are, we have a smorgasbord of disasters. <laughs> and then, okay. um, the fourth one po is um, emergencies. Kumbaga po, ang EOP naman po, this is your... Yung plan, this is your blood, you know. Okay. Kasi it ties all the, the system together. Pero dapat talaga alam na, 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 na yes. okay. And then the next, the next naman po is the emergency support functions. Emergency support functions. Oh, ito po yung iba-ibang expertise. Like okay. for example, we have the EOC. So to be managed by... For example, by, example natin yung Taal Volcano Eruption. Ano, ano yung mga oh, expertise po, dito? Ang expertise po, kailangan mo ng rescue. Okay. Kailangan mo ng science. Okay. Po? So, meron kang research. Health. Hindi yung... Health. Opo. Kailangan okay. mo ng health. Okay. Opo. So, yun yung po yung separate, ano po, mm -hmm. separate po na expertise na not necessarily dapat nasa EOC, pero dapat kako-ordinate siya ng Emergency mm -hmm. Operations Center. Mm -hmm. Do you think then, we have that? Meron po, pero it's really a Kulang matter talaga. of... Ko, yung pong strengthen yung coordination mm -hmm. and relationship. Okay. It's in place, but... Yes uh, po. And then Tama the last one, yung fifth yeah. one. The last one po is uh, standard operating procedures, mm -hmm. which is operationalizing everything naman. Okay. So that po, I think we still... We are yet to really start on a, on a national scale. Kasi pa nga po yung emergency operations plan po, ano na national scale, mm -hmm. hindi pa ganun kaplansyado. So, mm -hmm. so all of this should be part of the system when we propose the part of disaster resilience. Oh, po. I mean, we have some of this already, pero hindi ganun ka, oh, po. And uh, ka I, systemic, ka systematic yes, po. pala. Okay. And the thing is, sir, meron naman pong bits and pieces na nag-move forward with this mm -hmm. operational components. Mm -hmm. However, I think from, from, a, from an objective perspective outside mm -hmm. is that hindi po na po focus yung integration nila. Okay. or the interface among these components. So, okay. yun po yung ina-advocate namin. Okay, sige. Maraming pa tayong pag-uusapan uh, regarding uh, emergency management when Ashen in Focus Weekend Edition returns.
Welcome back to Ash and Focus Weekend Edition and we're now our last block of interview with Dr. PJ De Los Reyes from FIVOX and Luan David from EMI, <laughs> Earthquake Megacities Mega Cities Initiative. Initiative. Okay, so Mount Pinatubo, Taal Volcano, Typhoon Haiyan, and the host of other, isang litanya yan ng katakot-tapot ng mga, ng mga disasters sa Dumarating sa Pilipinas mm -hmm. because una, we're part of the Earth uh, Ring of Fire, na yes. kaya may earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. And then we're also nasa Typhoon Belt, so yung mga malalakas world record typhoons yes. mm -hmm. pass through here. Pero parang bago ng bago, <laughs> pag may nangyayari na disaster, ano, ano bang kulang? What can you say about this? Because we ni usually pag uh, sa local government po kasi, nagbabago po yung mga employees ng kwan depending on the newly elected mm -mm. officials. So Which brings... Sometimes uh, the, uh, the, uh, the DRRM C uh, or the coordinate, the offices are also change with the... Mm. Mer pero merong iba na permanent na talaga. Which brings so us... They, may continuity uh, ng learning sila. Yeah, which mm. brings us to mind si, Senate, si Governor Joey Salceda no, during his term as Albay Governor, talagang zero. Diba? Pag may Mayon Volcano, pag mayroong Typhoon, talagang forced evacuation. Now, we, we, I, I wish, eh, eh, hindi ko alam sa inyo, ganun sana yung mangyari sa lahat ng local governments. Well, Albay itself, may permanent na kanya. Mm -hmm. and, and, mm -hmm. But even then, sometimes, hindi rin nila nakakalkula yung magnitude mm -hmm. ng, ng events. So, uh, it's, it's, it's a continuous learning, but mm -hmm. we have to be proactive as far as mm -hmm. disasters uh, uh, or uh, natural calamities okay. are concerned. You're the sociologist, para sabi ni Dr. <laughs> PJ. Continuous learning, pero mm -hmm. hindi pa ba tayo natuto? I mean, <laughs> bakit kaya ganun? Um, of course, sinabi niyo yung political considerations. Opo. Well, aside from political considerations, well, observe po sa Pilipino ang mm. madaling makalimot. Sometimes <laughs> are... Because we, it's very easy for us to adapt compared to other cultures, sometimes it works against, that works against us. Yung tipong, if on the is repeated again, are we, mauulit ba yung gravity ng damage ng on the way? Opo. Kaya nga po, ang ano nga po sir, the important thing is, since may tendency ang Pinoy na makalimot, we have to document everything. And we have to plan. Yun po yung, for me, on a personal observation po, parang yun ang nakikita kong solusyon dun sa masyado nating pagiging makakalimutin. We have to document mm -hmm. and base our plans, improve, uh, review our plans mm -hmm. based on these documents. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Lessons learned. Opo. Mm -hmm. Kasi so, po, kung, yeah, we learned lessons and then we forgot. Pero kung yes. nakapapil yan, hindi natin siya makakalimutan. At least nung mga nasa, mga decision makers, mm -hmm. may, meron silang titignan. So, Okay po, sa EMI, we really advocate for emergency operations planning. Kasi okay. when that is in place, hindi naman po sa totaling mawawala yung okay. mga kinatatakutan natin. But at least, at the very least, we are ready. And sometimes, yeah. land use, uh, alam na na, alam yes. na, na merong <laughs> hazard doon, but the land use is not in tandem yes. with the oh, diba, hazard. Itong, uh, yes. So, building back better is an issue. West Valley yes. Fault, diba? Yes, yes. Nandiyan yung mga skyscrapers. Planning. Yes. <laughs> so, so building how, back how do you better. explain that? Yung sa kultura natin, bakit tayo ganun? Um, eh, hindi pwede, hindi natin alam eh. Well, hindi ko po ito ma-validate. Pero okay. based lang po sa mga nabasa ko, it's because when we took over during our... After the Americans? Yes, when we took over, mm. we totally let go of the plans that they left. Okay. I think that's one of what yung issue po nila na architect Balo Fox na talagang mm. meron naman kasing plans. Kaya nga floodway mm. tawag dyan kasi floodway siya. Yes, kasi na And na then we totally, I mean, who, the decision makers then did not, I don't know, mm. I don't know if they don't understand or mm. they do not know that there, there are plans. So hindi ko po, mm -mm. yun. So I But think that's one of the... It's, it's uh, also, a, I think, a culture issue because a lot of Filipinas are so attached to their communities mm -mm. Or, mm -mm. and relatives mm -mm. na kahit na there's there's threat they would rather stay, stay in their there. community yes. because all their relatives are there mm -mm. so kahit na kung babalik at babalik sila mag-invest na lang sila uli doon 
So, yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That makes a good point po, Dr. PJ. And mm -hmm. another one din po, babalik po tayo sa economic. Mm -hmm. yes. po, yung pinagkukuha naman ng oo, Kasi, uh, for example po, no, in, in some areas, there are relocation naman. Masipag naman po yung sa housing, minsan mag-relocate, mag mm -hmm. di ba? Mm -hmm. And then these people would go back to their old places. Mm -hmm. Kasi kahit na linulubog doon, doon kasing malapit yung work nila. Yeah. So, yun po, part po ng emergency operations planning is finding contingencies for, li for livelihood. Parang yung mga and squatters, for, ano, nirelocate mo, pero yeah, babalik kasi nandun yung hanap buhay. Dapat po, part yeah. po ng emergency operations plan mo, nung contingency plans mo, emergency employment, emergency okay. livelihoods. So, Actually, sayang yeah. ano, marami pa tayong pag-uusapan, <laughs> lalo sa last, ano, explaining why are we like this. Pero, wala na tayong oras, ano. Pero, thank you very much for uh, uh, gracing our show and sharing us your expertise on volcanology, thank on you. sociology, how, and how Filipinos uh, respond to them. Okay? Wow. And uh, thank you very much, thank Dr. You, PJ. Thank you thank very you much, po. Luan. Thank you very much, folks. That's all for now. I'm Kaloy Tabunda, and I'm one with 25.